G'day guys, welcome to Yeah Nah Beauty, my name is Tanya and I'm your personal little guinea pig and if you haven't noticed, I'm not sitting with my normal background. In fact, I look like a dog's breakfast and I'm gonna tell you why, but anyone who's not interested in an update, I'll leave a timestamp here somewhere so you can just get to what's in my little empties basket. So here we go. Alright, so obviously 2020, pretty shit year for most of us. <laughs> but look, I've had some other things going on, um, not just because of COVID or anything like that, you know, life things that have happened. And to be honest with you, I've got fuck all time anymore. Um, I'm not going to stop doing my videos, but I've realized that I have to stop being... Vain isn't the word that I want to use here, but I have to stop caring so much about... Um, what other people might think of me if I don't have my hair done, if I don't have makeup on, or any of those things. Um, so for those who don't know, my four-year-old has been diagnosed with type 1 diabetes uh, six months ago, and it was just... Um, <laughs> I mean, my life was already sort of chaotic before then. I ran a household with seven people in it, um, blended family, so I'm step -mom too, and that comes with its own complications and rewards. Um, but yeah, so a lot of things changed, like when I could record, um, when I had the time to record, when I had the room to record. So, um, yes, today I look like a dog's breakfast, um, but I want to talk to you about my empties and I want to call this sort of like my October, November, December empties, because to be honest with you, I, I, I just didn't feel like buying much um, or, or using much, so I just used what I was comfortable with, my normal moisturizers, my normal hair products and stuff like that. And I had some other stuff there that I played around with, so it is not a massive basket. As you can see, it's pretty dismal to be honest with you, but I thought I would share it with you and hopefully that means that we won't have a massive video that I need to edit from like an hour and a half to 15 minutes. So let's get started. First thing I wanted to talk to you about is something that I've been using for over a decade and that's this Gillette Fusion Sensitive Skin Hydrogel Shaving Cream essentially. Um, look, I know it's shaving cream, right? Like, but whatever. I hate the stuff that you squirt into your hands and it instantly is this big ball of foam. This comes out as a blue gel and then when I put it on my legs or wherever else I'm going to put it, um, it foams up slightly and I like that. It doesn't gunk up my razor as much and I just find with this, not only do I have less irritation, but I feel, I feel like, I don't know if it's fact, I feel like I get a finer, oh not a finer, a better shave, a smoother skin surface after it and I just really, really enjoy this. I don't enjoy the price, <laughs> but when I can get it on special, I grab a few of them. So I love this and this is a staple for me and yeah. Next thing I want to talk about, because I have two of them, is this Shea Moisture African there we go, African Black Soap Soothing Body Wash. Um, this stuff's amazing. I love it. Not only do I love the smell, it's just, oh, wow. I mean, it does kind of smell a little bit like a baby product, like, like oats and vanilla. Um... Yeah, I think that's probably what it smells like, but it it's black. It it really does look like uh <laughs> it does look like dirt essentially in olive oil or in just in baby oil, dirty dirty baby oil, but it's gr it's great. Uh this stuff I've been using on my partner's back. In fact, we use it with a loofah, we use it without a loofah, whatever. I love this stuff. It's uh it's great. My partner's back acne is clearing up. I love the smell of it. I love the gentle exfoliation. It's not hard to rinse off. It doesn't leave a disgusting film on the skin afterwards. In fact, it actually feels like one of those uh, shower moisturizers where you're, you're supposed to moisturize in the shower. That's what this feels like. We keep buying it now. And yes, it's also a little bit more expensive than your regular body washes, but what can I say? I'm enjoying some finer things. Um, what is it? I think it's like maybe $15, $20 a bottle. I don't know if I can remember. I'll leave it on the screen for you guys, but it's, I love it. So anyway, guilty little pleasures. Next thing I want to talk to you about is something else that I love and I've had in quite a few of my other empties, so it wouldn't be an empty without this. This is the Hask Keratin Protein Soothing Shampoo. Mm, I can never tell you exactly what this smells like, but this 
Oh. I mean, I, I, I said that African black soap was great, but this here, it changes my mood in the shower, guys. Like, if I am in a filthy, dirty, rotten mood, PMS, somebody's really rubbed me up the wrong way, and I go and take a shower and I wash my hair with this, I am transformed into this new world. It, look, not only does it make my hair feel great, it is fantastic for my mental health. I can't recommend this. I mean, there's other ones there as well. Um, there's this keratin one, and then there's, uh, what is the other one? I can't remember what the other one is, but um, argan oil, yeah. But the argan oil smells like, I don't want to say oranges, but like um, mandarines or tangerines or something similar. Eh, it's still nice, but this, this, this is my jam. I love this, and um, I won't stop buying this unless all of a sudden my hair decides to crack the shits with it and I have to try something else. So it's so hard because I want to try other things, but then I'm like, <laughs> so <laughs> let's move on, guys. All right, what else have I got? All right, I got this sample. Well, that's not really a sample size, is it? Anyway, I got this in a Bella box. This is the Pantene Pro V3 Minute Miracle Daily Moisture Renewal Conditioner. Oh, jeez. Was this a mask? La 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 la, blah blah blah. Apply damp hair after shampooing. I can't remember this. But I do remember I didn't hate it. Now, I usually don't like Pantene products at all. Um, it just doesn't really do good things for my hair. But I remember trying this and thinking, oh wow, a Pantene product I actually like. I don't mind the smell of it as well. I wish I could tell you more about this. I mean, I obviously liked it, but um, not enough for it to be memorable to remember what I did, what it did for me. I do recall having really silky smooth skin after it. Oh, skin. Really sm really silky smooth hair after it. Ah, uh, yeah, but it didn't last long. Um, I think within, like, not even a day, my hair started looking really oily and gross, and um, I think even itchy to be honest with you so while I liked it while I was using it um the first time that yeah that that would have been the reason why I wouldn't have brought it because I don't wash my hair every single day I usually do it every second day or even sometimes every third day like I'm trying to I'm trying to find a new way to deal with my hair because I don't usually get much time before it does look greasy um yeah, I don't know, it just always looks horrible. There's no life in it. Um, and that that's not a reflection on the, um, the Hask shampoo that I use because it's pretty much every shampoo I've ever used in my entire life. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking maybe I need to try something different. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, I think that was nice, but it's just not for me. So, hmm, smelled nice too. Let's move on to, uh, okay, so I've got an old one here, and you can no longer get Avon in Australia unless somebody's selling old products at the, I don't know, the op shop or um, your Sunday market or whatever, but I've got these Avon Footworks Healthy Cracked Heel Relief Cream shit. Um, it's, it's full. I can't even bring myself to use it on any other part of my body. I'm going to see if somebody else wants it, otherwise I'm, I'm, I'm going to throw it away. It's shit. It really is. It did nothing for me. Um, yeah, I mean, and it's got that, yeah, it's, it's got that old foot cream smell. I just, there's nothing I like about this product, unfortunately. So if you do get Avon uh, and you're thinking about getting this, I personally don't like it. I, I got a lot of friends who are like, oh yeah, get this. But I think it's because they don't know that there are other products out there that shit all over this. So, hmm, that's a big pass for me. All right, moving on. What have I got here? <laughs> now, I'm putting this as an empty, but I'm going to keep it for a sentimental reason, and this is, hmm, this is a really personal thing. But a friend of mine, um, she gave me this hand cream. It's from Loctane. Uh, it's this one right here. Ooh, are we going to focus? Maybe not. Anyway, it's from Loctane. It's the M Province Cream Mains Dry Skin Hand Cream. I don't know. Anyway, it's this. And she gave this to me 
three years ago. Uh, no, she gave it to me four years ago. And she's no longer with us. And I haven't thrown it away. I tried it not long actually after she gave it to me and I hated the smell. Let me just remind myself. Mm. It's so perfumed. It's so perfumed. Um, my dry hands are also very, very sensitive. I break out and all sorts of things. Bumps and... Mm. This stuff is horrible. <laughs> oh, bless her for giving it to me. She was only trying to help. Um, and she was very, very sweet. She had a ton of these. And, and I had dry hands on the day and she told me just to grab one. So um, I hate this shit. But it's so sentimental to me because she gave it to me and I don't have anything else that she's given me except, I mean, obviously a, f a photograph that I've kept for my own, you know, benefit. So I'm, I'm keeping this at a sentimental value, but I can't stand the smell of this shit. And it was no good as a hand cream anyway. So, um, mm, let's move on. All right. I have this old disgusting makeup sponge by Eco Tools. This was the first sponge that I actually tried and I was very, very impressed. I do like these, but I found better ones now. So you can get these from the supermarket, like uh, Woolworths, Coles, wherever, uh, Priceline, chemists, drugstores, whatever you want to call them, for about 10 bucks. Um, on special, you can get them for like six. Good sponge, but I found better. I now use Ella Cosmetics ones and I love those and they, mm, they shit all over these. So that one's old and dusty and crusty anyway, so I'm getting rid of that. I also have this e.l.f. Uh, lip exfoliator. Oh, it's gross. Um, all right, so there's a lot left over, but it's dried up. Uh, I use this so often. Uh, what flavor is it? It's sweet cherry. I use this so often. Um, it's, a f it's effective. I liked it, but... I couldn't get through it, obviously, there's still a lot of product left, and I've actually found something that I like better, a little bit more convenient, and um, yeah, a little bit more effective. So this is good, this is cheap enough, I think uh, Americans can get this for $2. Uh, I paid like 6 or 9 for it, it is what it is. Um, I wouldn't repurchase it because I found better things, uh, which are a little bit more expensive, but I like it better, but this is good in a pinch, and it's definitely good if you want to have in your handbag and you just want to quickly uh, exfoli exfoliate your lips, especially if you're into like um, uh, liquid lipsticks that set down. They have a tendency to really dry out your lips. This is good to put on just before, um, followed with a really small amount of uh, lip balm, and then your liquid lipstick over the top. Good for your purse. Won't repurchase, but it was good. Uh, this, I definitely won't repurchase. This is the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Waterproof Coal Kajal Pencil in the shade 006 Green. I, I brought this because, let me see if I can show you. Um, it goes on the hand. We're not going to focus. It goes on the hand really, really well. And you're not going to be able to see. It's like a khaki green, but it's got like very, very fine, like milled glitter. Well, not glitter, but it's, it's it got a shimmer to it, right? And I thought that would be stunning in the waterline or just underneath. Uh, it doesn't go on the waterline like it goes on my hand. Um, it doesn't stay under the eyes as well as I would like it. It's just, I, I wasted my money on this. I'm so fucking disappointed. This would have been beautiful. Um, but now I found, uh, what is it? Is it, yeah, now I found Fenty liners and they are amazing. Uh, they stay in my waterline. They don't move. They've got beautiful, vibrant colors and Lethal Cosmetics just came out with a pot gel one that I've just purchased, but people are raving about that as well. Um, and the people that are raving about it, I actually really do trust their opinion. So I'll let you know what I think when I get that one. But this is just a, this is a nope. Okay. So this is a, this is a nope. And I'm so disappointed. So let's move on. 
Uh, I got one more kind of makeup sort of thing, and that's from Good Molecules. It's a silicon-free priming moisturizer. So realistically, that's not actually a makeup thing, because if it was a makeup thing, it would be a moisturizing primer, not a priming moisturizer. So this is a skincare product. Uh, probably why it didn't work that well for me, actually. I just didn't get enough out of this. I didn't feel that it moisturized my skin at all. I didn't feel that it did anything for priming before makeup. I was just really underwhelmed um, and I've heard a lot of good things about Good Molecules so I am excited to try more of their products but this just wasn't it for me so uh, let's just move on. Next thing I have is these water wipes uh, for sensitive skin. These are nice but I try and avoid wipes as much as I can unless I really do need to use them. Uh, it comes in handy to have a pack in my handbag every now and then whether it's for myself, whether it's for my uh, four year old. Um, but yeah, this is nice to receive, to have. I just, I wouldn't go out and buy them. Um, they are very, very moist. So if that's your thing, great. Now, this Garnier Skin Active Hydro Bomb Tissue Mask, super hydrating, smoothing and replumping. Oh my gosh, what a mouthful. Um, I got some feels about this. Uh, the application is a clusterfuck. I hate the way they have done this. This was so difficult to put on my face. Um, yeah, I don't know. And there was a lot of fucking plastic. I won't buy this again um, because of how difficult it was to put on the face. Now, did it work? It felt nice. It felt nice while it was on. It felt nice afterwards. My skin didn't react to it. It, it was your average mask that feels nice. But the clusterfuck that you have to go through to put this on and the mess that you make as a result, this is a big nope for me. I'll go back to the regular one. I thought I can't remember which one it is. I got a whole bunch of videos up here, guys, if you want to go and see the other ones of these that I've done. But I won't be repurchasing this one again. Oh well. Now I got a mask here that I mm, I didn't really like, and this is the Luminesque Hydra Shield mask. It's really hard to show you guys. Uh, this is another one that had a film on the front and a film on the back and you had to fucking, mm, it's like boxing a friggin... Mm. Anyway, it was so hard to get this bad boy on. In fact, actually, I put it on my face with the film on it because I didn't realize there was a layer on both sides of this mask. And then I had to take it off and then peel that bit off and then try and put it on. And it was so fiddly to put on after that because it's so flimsy. No. Um, yeah. If it's too hard to put a mask on and if it makes way too much mess, I'm not interested. I love, love face masks. I love sheet masks. They don't have to be this hard. Um, it makes me want to go back to a cream mask that I have to wash off. And I hate saying that. Because while cream masks are more convenient because I can still drink my coffee they're less convenient in the fact that I have to go and wash it off. I can't just peel it off, toss that in the bin and then just pat it in, you know. Anyway, which leads me to go on to my next product, which I'm definitely happy with and I'm starting to realize that there's a style of mask that's for me. And that's this. This is the Mecca Cosmetica Hydrating Hydrogel Sheet Mask. Now this is not the first hydrogel mask that I've used before. Uh, this one was definitely nice. I think um, I think this one was a little bit perfumed though, which I was a little bit disappointed in. But this was, this was lovely. Um, these hydrogel masks go on the skin like a cool glove. There's no folding like the sheet masks. Um, there's no stupid flaps that it, you snort or get in your mouth or go in your eyes or wet your ears or saturate your hair or any of those annoying fucking things that sheet masks, sheet masks do. I think that I am a hydrogel mask kind of girl. Uh, and this one, this one's the one that really, really made me aware of that. So I loved this. And I am going to repurchase this one again. I really did enjoy it. And while I'm on the topic of that, I will talk about this Mecca Cosmetica Hydrogel Eye Mask, which is equally as good. In fact, I love 
everything about these hydrogel eye masks, especially the ones that like have this sort of shimmer. I've had ones that have looked like gold leaf. I've had ones that have had like a shimmery look in it, clear ones. When I'm wearing one of these, I don't feel so alien, I guess. Um, I don't feel so um, un unattractive, I guess is the word. Uh, I, I know I'm wearing a mask and I'm not supposed to be attractive, but um, I don't know. I just feel more comfortable wearing it. In fact, actually, can I tell you that I feel beautiful when I'm wearing one? I don't know what it is. What is it? But I do, okay? And that helps my mental health as well. And what can I say? So if it helps my mental health, then it's working, isn't it? You know, because I don't really think that sheet masks do a ton for my skin. I definitely do see the benefits if I'm using them regularly. Uh, but they're not like this miracle cure. I've still got to keep up on a really good uh, skincare routine. But anyway, so I've only got one more product, and that is this L'Oreal Paris Revitalift anti-aging care day cream. I don't like L'Oreal Paris uh, creams. I don't. They do nothing for me. In fact, actually, they burn the skin, and, and that's what this one did too. Um, yeah, I'm not into these at all, and uh, I don't recommend them. So I don't know why they're so expensive. I don't know why they're so loved. Um, I actually don't see anything really in the ingredients that is beneficial to be honest with you um hmm yeah so anyway that's pretty much it guys I do appreciate if you stuck around to the end of the video I know it's not my usual background I know it's not you know as a <laughs> la -di da I guess so um, I may not even edit um, much out of this my son didn't really come in and um, cause too much drama or anything like that and uh, yeah I, uh, I like I said I really do appreciate it guys I wanted to get something out for you guys it's been so long uh, I'm not giving up YouTube I've just got to be mm, I've got to find a better way and if that means that I have to just turn on a camera and be El Natural and just tell you my feels then that's what I'm going to do and um, I apologize if that's not your thing um, but yeah this is my channel and I have to adapt and um, I appreciate you guys for understanding that and uh, I hope to see you in my next video guys so um, yeah happy new years merry Christmas whatever you celebrate and um, I'll talk to you soon bye